Good morning, Eleanor. Good morning. Pretty girl. Oh, buddy, stay just for a minute. Just for a minute. He's in a weird mood. He likes to hang out in the top of the stairs here. Uh, so I sat down on the stairs and just put him on my lap, and he's chilling out, but he's in a weird little mood. Ah. Ah. I love you, honey. Hey guys, how are ya? Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Steven. It is March 21st. It is my birthday. Um, I was just about to head out of the complex, my condo complex, uh, heading towards Starbucks because it's my birthday, damn it, I'm getting that free drink. Uh, and um, as I was just about to pull out, the woman who spray painted my house <laughs> a few months ago and someone I suspect has been stealing our packages, she uh, walked across right in front of my car and then dipped into the front of my condo, that area. And uh, so I pulled right back into uh, the back of the condo to walk around to make sure she wasn't doing anything nefarious. Uh, and I don't see her, so she moved very quick. I don't know where she went, but there we go. So uh, if you saw this shirt, I bought this recently, Goodwill. I love the way it fits me. And I paired it today with a pair of the green shorts I bought that same day. I think that looks very, very smart. And a pair of uh, just some uh, brown uh, leather loafers. Ta-da! So I'm feeling very cute. I'm feeling 55. Um, I am going to go hit Starbucks and then Goodwill. Uh, I did eat cake last night at midnight. I ate cake. And then this morning for breakfast, I ate cake. And I've got a little teeny piece left, which I will eat tonight. Uh, so I did choose cake. Um, <laughs> I did eat cake. So I will see you guys. Um, maybe Starbucks, maybe Goodwill. I'm not quite sure, but I'll see you soon. So I think I know where she went. Uh, she, she could dip into, from the direction I saw her moving, she could dip into these uh, little recesses that are built into the wall in front of my condo area. Uh, there's a, a bank of shrubs that grows across these little depressions, allowing her to hide inside uh, like, a little, um, like a little shelter. Um, I definitely know that during the summertime, uh, last summer she's spent some time back there. Uh, I feel an enormous amount of compassion for her. She is very, very, very seriously mental Ill, mentally ill. She is definitely just not in hitting difficult circumstances. She is really, really mentally ill, and I feel very bad for her. My, my compassion is tempered by the fact that she's... Um, vandalized the front of my condo a number of times. The last time with spray paint, um, I suspect, and my neighbor has video cameras all over the front of his house, that she's uh, stolen packages from us. And um, so, I mean, my compassion is tempered by the, um, I don't know, I feel like a bad person for being upset or irritated by her, but I am. Um, so, yeah. So, oh, there's a Starbucks. Let me see if I can scoot over here. There we go. Notice I used my turn signal. I know, it's crazy. No one else in Las Vegas seems to know they exist. But, um, all right, so I'm going to grab something at the Starbucks here. I think I might walk in. It's probably easier and faster. Blah, 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 blah. I need some caffeine. Having cake for breakfast really threw me off my game. <laughs> but it was delicious. Still here, this is the world's longest red light. Oh my God. Um, so I bought myself some things for my birthday. First, I bought myself a ring light, a small one. It's a 12 inch ring light uh, for when I am I want to film uh, at home in my little office area because there isn't really very good lighting. Uh, I also may be able to use it for eBay if I ever get my ass in gear and start listing things for eBay. I bought myself a new cell phone case uh, because mine is finally broken. Uh, I bought a white one because I keep it on the dashboard 
and it's black right now. And in the summer, oh, hell, it just happened yesterday with the sunlight beating on the black case. My cell phone basically turns off because it gets so hot. So I'm hoping the, the white case helps a little bit. Uh, and then I bought myself a video game. It's called um, Outer Planets, Outer something or other. Um, I have been playing uh, Starfield to a point where it feels sort of kind of boring, which is weird because I've been playing Skyrim since 2012. Um, oh, I want to go inside, not do drive through. Oh, well, I'll go through drive through. Um, yeah, so I bought myself a few things for my birthday. I, I kind of splurged a little bit. I don't spend a lot of money on myself outside of Goodwill. <laughs> um, oh my gosh, there's literally no line. This is awesome. All right, what am I gonna get? My birthday. Mm -hmm. Oh. Hello, thank you for choosing our Starbucks. Can I get you started with any food items? Hi, no, but your voice is so pleasant it just brightened my mood immediately. Oh. Oh, thank you that was, so much. That was like the best voice. Oh my God, hi, how are you? Hi, I'm good, how are you? I'm great, it's my birthday. Uh, so I got that little thing from, you don't need to hear me say this. Um, the nicest people ever at a drive-thru. I mean, the nicest two kids that are working on the, the, the window here. Uh, and I was like, oh, she's like, happy birthday, Do you know? And I'm like, oh, great. She's like, how's your day going? I'm, I just left the house for the first time. <laughs> she's like, so, you know, um, do you have a greater appreciation for things as you get older? And I'm like, yeah, that's a longer answer than I'm used to. Yes, yes, but, uh, uh, being able to appreciate things as you get older sometimes comes at a great cost and I started to get a little too dark and a little too yeah much uh, a little too much for the drive through uh, at Starbucks so <laughs> I was like yes I appreciate things more <laughs> you lose a lot but you appreciate you learn how to appreciate things so blah 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 so I'm getting a uh, oh, Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, love. You. Oh, yeah, same here. Bye-bye. I got a um, venti, uh, a shaken espresso, oat milk, brown sugar, something. Um, so, yeah, that's what I got at Whoop at uh, Starbucks. Now, good one. I want to go to the one on Flamingo, which means I have to around so I will see you guys there look how cute this is this is the first birthday drink from Starbucks that I've uh, received in many years it used to be years ago that you would get your birthday drink sometime the month of your birthday that was a very long time ago they changed it to the day of and I don't know I'm never around a Starbucks at least since I uh, became a flight attendant. I'm always like somewhere else where a Starbucks would be terribly inconvenient to get to on the day of my birthday. But how sweet is that little message drawn on the lid of a cup? So sweet. All right, I'm coming into the one on Lake Me, which is not one that I frequent. And honestly, I kind of forgot how bad it is until I almost got here. So eh, I don't, I don't often find anything good here. This place is full of garbage. There's nothing here. This is a Reed and Barton vintage. Um, I think it's originally a flower frog. I don't know, but this is the only thing I think it's even worth picking up and I'm not gonna buy it. I lied, I think I found one thing. This is a carved ironwood road runner of all things. I don't even know where uh, ironwood comes from. Never mind. do they know what a road runner is? I don't, I don't know, but I love this little road runner and he's only $2.99. Minus 20%. No chips, no scratches or anything. I think I'll add him to my collection of two Roadrunners. I was about to say there's absolutely garbage here, but have you met Bob before? Bob? If you're a flight attendant, you know who Bob is. Look, it's Bob. He's $200. <gasps> Bob. Bob. $200. Guys, you have no idea how much I want this. Oh my God. It's Bob. That is, this is the guy that you beat up during in-flight training when you become a flight attendant. Whoops. <laughs> I just knocked Bob over. I noticed Bob had little tiny nipples. <laughs> Bob, Bob, I want you to go home with me. 
No, I can't. $200, I can't. Yeah, this is the worst Goodwill in, like, the entire Vegas Valley. The one on um, Mead, Lake Mead Boulevard. I did get the Ironwood uh, Roadrunner. So pretty. I love this. Uh, it was $3. I wonder if it's signed or something. No. Um, I, man, I really wanted Bob. He's the only man I would want in my house, honestly. Um, but there's no reason to spend $200 on Bob. That would be ridiculous. Uh, so let's find another Google before I start getting out of this parking lot and let's find somewhere else to go. All right, so I'm at the Goodwill on Nellis. I don't always find great things here, but when I find something good, it's very good. So let's check this place out. I think this is absolutely hysterically ugly and fabulous. I have to do a little Google search on that, but I love that. I think someone used it as a candle holder at some point. I think it's more of a vase, but I love that. Gosh, I'm already hiding from the sun. It's only March. The sun is relentless today. It's typical for Vegas, but I did buy this vase. It's, um, I love it. I'm not sure if you can see the texture of the clay and of the glaze, but it's really, really wild. There is a mark on the bottom down here, uh, and there's lots of age to the bottom here. Uh, I've been able to find one piece like it sold on first dibs that sold for $300. Um, I don't think it's going to sell like that on eBay. If I chose to ever sell this, I just love this. Um, all I can find out is that it, it may be a Japanese piece from the 60s. Uh, but I just think that's fantastic. It's got this like organic kind of lava-like finish to the texture, the, the glaze. Very, very thick. Um, I love this piece. And I finally get a discount. Yay! All right, let's go to one more Goodwill, and then I probably think have to think about eating. Uh, it is uh, 4.35 in the afternoon. All I've eaten today was uh, less than a slice of birthday cake today, so I need to eat something soon. I will see you wherever I go. I'm at the one at Flamingo and Fort Apache. This is one of my favorites because there's usually something good in here. But the prices are so marked up that it's like ridiculous. So I often leave things because they're just marked up too much. There was a moment I was tempted to buy this 90s sweater, but that's a big hard no. I am going to buy this sweatshirt. It's um, Ralph Lauren Denim and Supply. I like it. It's cute. All right. Well, it wasn't the best day of thrifting, but... Small satisfactions. I got my discount finally. I got my Starbucks. Um, and uh, I don't really know what else to do. There really isn't anything for me to do. Um, I am going to grab a bite to eat. Maybe I'll do a little Google search for an Outback and see if I can go grab dinner. Um, thanks to, was it Deb that sent those gift cards to me? Um, so yeah, maybe I'll do that. I am starving. Oh my God, I'm hungry. Uh, so instead of the Outback, uh, as I was driving to this most recent Goodwill I went to, I saw a sign for Little Ethiopia. It's a Little Ethiopian restaurant. I love Ethiopian food. I've never had a reason to tell you that, but oh my goodness, I love it. My favorite restaurant in the world second favorite restaurant in the world, uh, was a, a place in Boston called the Addis Red Sea. It's an Ethiopian restaurant there. I went over and over and over again. I love them. I don't think the business survived COVID. Uh, they closed for good permanently, unfortunately. Uh, but I love Ethiopian food. If that was a good representation of it, I love it. Um, so I am starving. I'm actually getting a little lightheaded. I had, um, I bought a little miniature one of those little teeny birthday cakes from Walmart yesterday. I had some at midnight to celebrate the big birthday. And then I had some this morning at like 11 o'clock this morning. And then I had that Starbucks drink. Uh, it is now 6.56. I have not eaten or had anything else to drink. So I'm not really feeling my best. So I'm going to just check into this Ethiopian place and see what they have to offer on the menu. Um, I'm just, just the idea of a piece of warm injera. Is that what it's called? Injera, injera, the bread. 
Let me just stop talking. I need to eat. I'll see you soon. Okay, well, that's not happening. Um, I just walked into the restaurant, opened the door, and uh, speaking of, let me see if I can open my car door. I uh, opened the door, and uh, the restaurant was empty, except for a row of, like, eight young men uh, sitting against a wall uh, looking at this little tiny television screen across the other side of the room. It was very strange. Uh, and it just felt very awkward. There were no other patrons. I didn't see any, uh, staff unless the staff was sitting there watching, I think it was a soccer game. It just instantly felt very, very awkward. Uh, so I walked out. Um, there is an Indian restaurant right in front of me. But that looks empty too. I don't know. I'm hungry. <laughs> they gave me a bottle of water and some bread with some sauces. I am going to be grabbing some samosa. I'm going to be gorging myself right now because I'm starving. I'm going to get some samosa. And uh, I am undecided whether to get the chicken vindaloo. I love chicken vindaloo. Or maybe just a traditional chicken curry. Not quite sure. I'm leaning towards the curry. The samosas are flawless. The dough wrapping is very thin and delicate and crisp, but yielding. And the filling is creamy but fluffy. Mostly potatoes and peas. Really, really delicious. Come on. Look how delicious that looks. <gasps> uh, and it comes with some really fluffy rice. I haven't finished my samosas yet. And these sauces that came with that little crispy cracker bread are utterly fantastic with the samosas. Have I made you dizzy yet? I am so excited. Oh my god, I am stuffed. I have not eaten that much food in months. It was uncommonly delicious. So if you're in Vegas, it's on Flamingo. It's a place called Marigold. <gasps> so good. I will definitely be coming back here if I can wedge myself into the car. Oh, my shirt is snug. <laughs> so good. Oh my goodness. That was that was a good birthday, Neil. That was good. Oh, guys, I am physically, I feel physically ill. I ate so much food in such a short amount of time. It's really a fraction of what I would have eaten back in the day. But lately, it's twice the food I'm used to eating, and I just didn't even pause. I just pushed it all into my mouth. <gasps> so delicious. And the staff was very, very nice. Um, yeah, and the place was packed. It was jumping. I didn't show you the restaurant. Um, every table was full. I got very lucky to get a table. And while I was eating, two or three groups of people came in behind uh, and had to sit down and wait for a table to open up. It's not a huge restaurant, but uh, it was it was very, very busy and rightfully so, so delicious. I am a little uncomfortable. Um, I kind of wish I could, um, you know, rid myself of some of it. Oh, because I'm so full. But man, it was so delicious, so delicious. Uh, so I'm gonna head home, love on the cats. Um, I'm going to uh, play some of my new video game, and uh, I was going to say I'll finish my birthday cake, because there is like a piece like this, this big left, but I think that would be the last straw that my belly could handle right now, so I'm going to, I'm going to ixnay on the cake, um, so yeah, I will see you back at the house. What happened to me? Look at me. I know the lighting isn't helping very much, but Oh my goodness, I look so old. I used to be like 25 years old just a few weeks ago. It was a few weeks ago. I was 25 years old dancing on a speaker, this huge speaker at Avalon, a bar in Boston. And I was wearing a pair of um, hot shorts, cut off hot shorts. I mean, way up, almost Daisy Dukes with a pair of combat boots with white slouch socks to match the white t-shirt I was wearing. I was skinny. I hadn't been eating kind of like these days. And uh, yeah, I was 25 years old, dancing on my speaker, and then poof, flash forward, I'm 55 years old, a cat dad, sober, living in Las Vegas as a flight attendant. What happened? Very strange, very strange. But shortly after I got sober, I was digging around, and um, 
I wasn't going to drink it, but I knew I had a bottle of vodka in the freezer and I should probably throw it away. And I, I knew that it was going to be difficult because I swear the bottle was half full. I swear the bottle was half full. When I finally found it to dump it in the sink theatrically and very dramatically, of course, there was like half an inch in the bottle because I drank it all, you know. And um, I was telling you about the birth. I know, where is this story going, right? I know. Um, so I was telling you about that little miniature birthday cake I had and how I had uh, a, a slice left. And boy, I'm going to throw it away because there's, but I feel bad because there's so much cake left. Did I tell you that? I was feeling guilty for throwing cake away. And then I get home from my day out and about and I see what's really left of my cake. <laughs> That is what's left of the cake. It is a sliver of cake. Hardly worth being upset about throwing it away. All right. So I just realized that uh, open time started today. So I'm going to try and swap out of a few trips uh, because I, I there's just some things I can't handle about uh, my schedule next month. Uh, things I can't talk about. Um, but uh, And there's one trip at the very end of the month that I really don't want to work. But I'm going to jump online and see what is available to swap. The first day of seniority-based open time, there's usually nothing really great in the open time pot. But it, that'll be tomorrow, the day after people have had a first opportunity to swap and drop and pick up and stuff. There'll be better options tomorrow. But tonight, I'm going to try and see if I can't make my schedule next month more palatable. I'll show you a little bit about what I'm talking about here. All right, so I'm trying not to show you what I can't show you on my schedule here, but on the left-hand side of the screen in that box, you'll see this is my schedule as it stands for April of 2024. Uh, so I've got a, a four-day trip starting on the 1st, a four-day trip starting on the 7th, Lots of time off in the middle, which I'm hoping to pick up a trip or two. Uh, and then on the 21st and the 28th, I've got four-day trips starting. So, you know, this is not the worst schedule. and This was my second choice. Uh, I did not notice on the last trip of the month that there is a... Um, uh, uh, tr uh, an international trip that I really do not want to go on. Uh, and uh, there are other reasons I'm trying to swap out of the remainder of the trips for other reasons, So, uh, which I cannot share with you. But uh, let me see if I can show you why I don't want to work that last trip. Hold on. All right, so this is the one trip I really don't want to fly. And this I'll tell you why in a moment. But uh, this is the one trip also that I'm not trying to swap out of yet. I'm going to wait till tomorrow when there'll be more options to swap, hopefully tomorrow on the open tide board than today. Uh, but uh, this trip, you'll, you'll notice the first day, right in the middle, you'll see the destinations. It's Las Vegas to Houston, Houston to Honduras, Honduras back to Houston. That's a long ass day. And I don't like internationals. I hate internationals. I avoid internationals. I've never been to Honduras. I'm sure it's very nice. I don't want to go. Uh, so, uh, and the rest of the trip isn't fantastic. It's also not horrible, but the last day is Vegas. I'm um, LA Vegas in a Reno turn. Sounds easy. It's a weird day. That's a very strange day. You got all the egos coming out of uh, L.A. And then Reno. Reno isn't always very easy or pleasant. I'm not to beat up Reno, but the flight just isn't always great. So, um, and you'll notice at the very bottom where it says 87.48. Uh, that's time away from base. That's a long time to be away from base. Although the credit is pretty good. I want to say it's a... a 23 and a half hours credit. But uh, so I'm going to keep this on my on my board until tomorrow and then try to swap out of that. Did that make any sense? OK, so um, I think I'm just going to let you guys go. This has been a very nice birthday. It's honestly been like every other one of my days off, but it's been very nice. I did. I didn't find a lot today for thrifting, but what I did get, I got a discount on. So there's a satisfaction there. So I will see you later. I'm I'm probably going to choke down the rest of this cake and just just eat it. <laughs> I'll diet. I'll di start my diet again tomorrow. All right. So thank you for watching and thank you for being here on my birthday. And thank you so much for all the comments 
and kindnesses and words you guys have sent me. Um, I still don't know how to pronounce his first name. Auk, Auke, Auki. Um, uh, he's, I think in Switzerland. Uh, and, uh, he sent me a, an email, a birthday wish before it was officially my birthday here in this time zone. But since he was ahead of the game, he's, he's further ahead in the time zones. Uh, he was first to wish me a happy birthday, but all of your wishes and, and thoughts and very kind words have been much appreciated. And uh, especially around the topic of, um, losing, uh, John, but I digress. Let me let you go. Thank you for being here with me. And I apologize for this lighting. My ring light will be better in the future. All right. Bye. See you later. Fly safe.